hello everyone welcome back to my channel as you know i run all my networking devices as well as i'm doing the home lab i have a dell power edge server which runs the proxmox vm where i run uh, home assistant uh, gray log and all those stuffs uptime kuma pi hole and everything uh, but i have a zima board i have done a video shorts video on the zima board i run a true nas scale but uh, suddenly my true nas scale stopped working the the storage the external drive storage is lost uh, i mean the pool has been uh, i mean uh, there are no pool showing up and all my applications stop working on the true nas so that's a bad news i think uh, it's time to update uh, from uh, zima board to some uh, uh, serious uh, devices which has uh, uh, I mean uh, good CPU uh, good uh, resources like I can uh, give more RAM because the Zima board last time I have it it was Zima board uh, 830 to 8 GB of RAM and the CPU so it was some kind of bottleneck uh, because uh, it was getting stuck uh, most of the time and the Zima board is quite getting hard because uh, it does it's a fanless body so let me show you uh, where I have my Zima board running and then what I am upgrading because this will be coming soon video because I've just got a backplane in the chassis of that. So it will be coming up video. I will add a motherboard, CPU, RAM and everything on that. So this is the storage server which I will be upgrading from the Zima board 832 to the HL4 which is a... Uh, 45 home labs a division of 45 drives this model is hl4 because it it got a four hard drive base and this is just a backplane in the chassis uh, nothing has been added so i have to customize i have to get motherboard cpu ram power supply and n.2 nvme ssd so i have to build this uh, uh, hl4 uh, from the scratch and as you can see the body is quite heavy uh, it's quite good i think uh, the true nas run uh, will run uh, more efficiently on this without any issues so i have to get a, a good cpu and good motherboard which have and the cpu which has quite good sco cores and the cpu frequencies also uh, i should consider better one because on the zima board 832 it was running intel Celeron processor and it was just uh, in 8 gb and it was quite getting hot uh, this has an inbuilt fan also so let me show you the unboxing and the overview of the hl4 from 45 home lab drives so this is the box i just removed the tape uh, and i have not removed the device yet so let me remove the tape completely and show you uh, what you get inside the box so first you will get this page uh, congratulations uh, 45 home lab uh, I will read it later so here you will get the box content what do you get inside the box you can see that and now if I open this you so you can see the name written HL4 so I got in blue color let's remove all those things So you can see here, this is the 45 HL drive. Let me remove the box so I can show you how does it look. So you can see here, 45 home lab, 40 HL4. And you can see this side, this side, okay, and the back side, it's already. So you can open it and you can see everything. This side you have a fan and everything. So this was the unboxing of the HL4 uh, from the 45 drive home lab. Let's take a closer look uh, by opening the chassis and you see, you can see, so it's very easy to open, I mean, you can just, uh, okay, you can just remove the screws and you can see uh, there's a one fan here and here you can insert the drive, drive 1, 2, 3 and 4 and I can show you the back here, you can see some, uh, uh, cables like for the drives as you can see here connectors and everything and there's also one small fan i think uh, this is a knock to our fans as you can see here uh yeah it's pretty good so this is my zima board as you can see i have connected both lan to the switch and i'm using uh, uh the sata drive like ex external sata drive right now two drives i was using it was almost around uh, one gig 
uh, each i mean 1 tb each it was almost 2 tb so the storage was almost 1.5 tb and all the storage has been lost so this zima board as you can see it's quite getting hot and uh, the true nas is also not working properly uh, so i thought of uh, let me upgrade the true nas uh, to some other storage server this is my true NAS as you can see here the dashboard and right now under the storage there is no storage shows up when you go to the storage and you will see uh, it is taking quite long to access even that so right now you can see uh, the unused disk and this with the exported pool and it says add to pool and it just so shows one only one drive even uh, uh, both two drive are connected external but uh, if I try to add a disk and it says if I choose the pool there is only one disk shows up here so all my data and everything lost here so you have seen the unboxing and the overview of the HL4 from the Fortify home labs uh, so uh, in my upcoming video, you will see uh, uh, an update on this. I will be adding a motherboard, CPU, uh, power supply, the RAM and all those. So I will build this and I will run the TrueNAS on that, which runs all the applications and it should be more powerful. So which can run lots of stuff on it. And you have one thing you have to make sure because this motherboard is mini ITX based because due to the, I mean, uh, you see the due to the size of these uh, uh, chassis uh, you can't have a micro ATX base it should be mini ITX base so I'm looking for the gigabyte uh, or even I'm looking for the ASRock motherboard so let's see what I find I will update you in my upcoming video so please make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video bye